asked you to watch the story unfold. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A guest? Are you a client of the master or a visitor from elsewhere in the hells? I do not believe you were invited. One moment. I shall consult the visitor's schedule. as if he is reading a book. He has the schedule memorized, or is carved into his eyelids. Hmm, most irregular. The schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. Apologies, O oh majestic magistrate of the infernal court. Your mortal guise is so vile, I found it perfectly convincing. I would prostrate myself before you and kiss your calluses. But my spine is ruptured in a thousand places. You do know how Raphael likes to play. As always, the archive is yours to peruse. You'll find everything accounted for and I can present documents of procurement if necessary. A fine pair of gauntlets that allow the wearer to twist the head from even the most resilient malingerer. An amulet that causes the blood to surge and the heart to swell, along with other parts. Hmm. Most invigorating and awaiting installation, we have secured a rod that gathers the weave around it in great quantities, just as surely as shit gathers flies. An exquisite and most unique artifact Crafted with materials hewn from the depths of the hells by Raphael's Merrigan labor force. As it was created by Raphael himself, we have no documents of procurement, nor do we require any. But if you wish to examine the artifact itself, you are more than welcome. As part of the special collection, that item is guarded by a master word that even I do not know. I suggest you wait until Raphael returns, and you can discuss the matter with him. You are welcome to relax in the boudoir until then. It is where Raphael conducts his most private matters of business and pleasure. You will need this to gain access. The resident of the boudoir will wish to explore every inch of your new form, and I'm sure you will be happy to share. You done with the rat? Can't resist the faintest hint of a temptation, can you? I suppose that makes two of us. That little disguise Hope gave you is adorable. I can see right through it, of course. And so will Raphael. He's going to notice you nosing around his house. I hope you're ready to face a very angry devil. Why don't you run off and tell him, Carilla? You love tattling to Daddy, don't you? Hardly a challenge. Your little ploy gave him an excuse to cross-check lots of paperwork. Enough to keep him happy for months. The only thing that'll keep Raphael happy is dismantling you, piece by piece. Don't you? I thought 
thought you had half a brain. Then again, you're here. Pretty much disproves any good sense you might have had, once upon a time. Might want to steer clear of my sister Hope, though. She's mad as a March hare. If she'd just agreed to serve Raphael, he'd probably have released her a long time ago. As things stand, she's his favorite toy. We're all mad here. But hope and hell? Why? That's the definition of insanity. She is. Though we've got about as much in common as a princess and a pauper. Raphael offered her the world. She didn't want it. He sweetened the deal. She said no. No matter how many times he upped the ante, she just laughed in his face. He didn't like that. Eventually, he took her by force, trapped her and swore he wouldn't let her go till she gave him what he wanted. Conversion. The stubborn ass has endured more torment than any soul should be able to. Even when he took all of her skin, she held on to hope. Raphael finds that puzzling. And he loves puzzles. You being here is another puzzle. You don't seem like you want to die. You want my advice? Enjoy whatever life remains to you. When Raphael catches you, you'll never enjoy anything again. caught your eye. It really is a magnificent exhibit. Wholly unique. There it is. The Orphic Hammer, right within reach. A magical field surrounds the item, preventing you or anyone from touching it. You surmise it's controlled by a vocal component. Magic words. in your head stops you. No, it seems to say. Nothing happens. strength. 